So we're going to talk now a little bit around um, goals and setting goals because goals are very important in terms of supporting us to manage our health condition. Now, not all of us like the idea of goals. It can just feel a bit sort of formalistic and things. So maybe one way to think about it is, is, is a bit of a journey around trying to think, well, where do I want to be in a couple of months' time with this? What do I want to be different? How that might look like? And so it can be quite useful to begin to think about it in that sort of way. So think about where we want to get to. Um, and it might be that we want to have lost a bit of weight in the next couple of months or become a bit more active or made some changes to our sleep patterns or it might be that we wanted to sort of uh, try and find a new job or, or move house or something. So that's where we want to get to. But to enable us to do it, we have to break it down into small, much more sort of doable sort of chunks and have, as it were, a clear action plan around how we're, we're going to achieve that. So all through this course, we're going to talk about setting goals. And as I say, what I really mean about that is just thinking around how am I going to break down what I want to achieve into something which is a clear action plan, which I feel I can be confident about achieving. OK, so it's important that what we're going to work on is something that we want to do. And it's important that we take a bit of time to reflect around how important it actually is to us. So if losing weight is important, on a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being 100% important, 0 to not at all, where do you sit right now? Because if the importance is quite low at the moment, it might be that you're really just not motivated right now, and that's probably worth reflecting on. Okay, so let's look in a little bit more detail at goal setting. The, the goals we, we set will often be around the three main areas of self-management. It might be around managing the medical elements of our condition, it might be around managing the emotional impact, or it might be around our everyday lives, things like work and the chores we have to do and, and, and similar. However, whatever goal we choose, as we saying just saying earlier, it needs to be important to us. It needs to be very slightly challenging because the idea is this is moving us forward. This is taking us on the next stage of a journey towards achieving us as something. So it just needs to be slightly challenging. By doing it, it will hopefully leave us feeling a bit more confident about the, the next steps forward. But likewise, we want to make sure that our first step is something that we will feel able to achieve and do. So it doesn't knock us knock back our confidence or, or leave us feeling overwhelmed by it either. And also by setting the goal, it helps us to, to feel in control. So when we're looking at a goal, we want to break it down into very clear steps. So if, for example, my goal was to start exercising more, first of all, I need to think through, well, what sort of exercise might I want to do? Is it walking? Is it swimming? And I probably think around what I've done in the past, what's worked before, what I like, what I don't like. Although I used to go swimming many years ago. To be honest for myself, I don't like swimming pools anymore. So swimming wouldn't be for me. So for me, exercise might be looking around my current routine. And I have a dog and I walk the dog. So to look at improving, increasing exercise, I might look at increasing the length of time I'm walking the dog each day or including some hills or, 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 or something like that. So we need to be very specific and think about what is it, is it we're actually going to do. And we want to make it what we call behavioral specific as well. So losing weight is in a behavior, but we need to think what is the actual action I'm going to do, such as exercising, such as cutting out biscuits and things. So it needs to be something that we're actually going to do and under our control. So going back to my example, I'm going to increase the amount of uh, uh, length of time I'm walking the dog for each day. Okay. Now we need to sort of make it quite specific. So I'm going to increase the amount I walk just three times in the first week because every day just feels a bit too much. So thinking about the week coming up, I probably I know I've got a bit of extra time on Wednesday, and the weekend I've got a bit of time and also on the Monday. So I'm going to look at in 
walking for longer on those three days. And I think I'm going to just add an extra 10 minutes for, for this first week and that feels doable. The next thing we need to do with our goal is just think around how achievable is it? How confident do I feel I'm going to do it? So just imagine yourself doing the activity. So I'm just going to take a moment, just think, okay, so when it comes up to this longer walk, I can imagine myself going out, how am I going to feel? And actually, yeah, I can do an extra 10 minutes. That feels doable. So I think I'm about a confidence level of seven or eight. So about eight out of 10. And yeah, that's a pretty good predictor. I'm going to follow it through. Now I might have thought about it and sort of looked at the weather forecast and realized I've got a busy week and think, oh, actually, I'm only about a four out of 10 confidence on this. And when we've got a low confidence, it's just important to take a moment to reflect around what is it I do feel confident about? So, and just think, so why did I say four? Why didn't I say two or three? When I think about it, I think, well, I've got to walk the dog anyway. So I'm, I'm, I'm going out the door already. That, that, that has to be done. So, so I'm confident I'm actually going to do the walk. So the tricky bit is quite simply, do I feel I have the time for the extra 10 minutes? And I guess if I think ahead a little bit, I can just make sure that um, I've just sort of made sure I've left that, that extra bit of time and just taken a bit of preparation and just said to my partner, actually, I'm going to be a bit, long, a bit longer this evening um, and hopefully that, that'll be okay. So it's important when we set these activities, these actions, and you have opportunities to do this all through the course, that you really break it down into small doable chunks. Think about how important it is, it is to you to do this and also to think about how confident you are that you're going to achieve it as well. And if your confidence, as I was saying, is a little bit low, think about what you do feel confident about and then maybe sort of reflect a bit around what will help you to feel a little bit more confident. And you might like to write some of those things down as well. And you'll see in the goal setting activity, you can write down why it's important to you. You can write down what you feel confident about and you can give yourself a little score and that sort of thing as well. So please use goal setting throughout the course and in the, in the different activities. It will really help you to take those step, first steps and those first actions around making changes around your health and well-being.